it's another spawn sundays so come on back and see what we've got Woo! welcome back cave dwellers we are in the man child cave i am the 417 man child and today we're going to be taking a look at the 12 inch super size figure of the violator the violator yes this thing is too big for the screen so uh before we get started boop hit that like button because you know you're gonna love this um i picked up this violator from a friend of mine that um he was selling off some of his spawn stuff he basically took them out of the package and uh displayed them and did nothing else so i was like heck yeah he made me a great deal that i could not pass up and so i'm adding this to my collection so as you can see there are several and i'll bring it up here uh of the, the 12 inch or 13 inch angela spawn violator and medieval spawn which i would love to have that so um let's start at the bottom down here so there's that wave which i have a few of those and there's the total chaos wave which i have a few of those i'd like to have that one actually uh then it looks like from the spawn movie which i do have a couple of these i didn't get all of them uh i do have that malbolgia i just hit the camera sorry and um i have all the kiss i don't have any of these uh, of course i have that 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 them that 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 and that so i have a lot of these so <laughs> I, I can't stop collecting them so we're gonna open it up see where did he open it up at that's taped on that side so it must be this side so fun so big you have to open it up from the side so i think he put it back with some uh stuff holding it in what is going on here oh my gosh what is going on here i do not know that's weird is there another way to open it no all right <laughs> how did you do oh i see that falls down okay so he probably just took it out like that so yeah. who cares don't care not reselling it probably gonna throw away the box anyways so let's go ahead and uh hold on a second become become part of the process with me so he put him in just like that and there's that and he comes with a base it looks like and that's about it but what else do you need for a freaking 12 inch figure which is cool the box is cool to have i don't care i'll end up throwing it away probably so because i don't keep my boxes at all all right so holy shnikes this thing's big uh let's see what does it say um to attach horns okay he's already done that and push up and in until it snaps in place okay that's just how to put the horns on so i already did that so let's take a look at the base this is kind of a thin plasticky there's the stuff if you can see that so it looks like footprints in there looks like the pegs have broke off yeah there's one right there so i may drill that out drill that out put another peg in there and uh give him something to stand on because again i don't care this is my stuff but yeah that's pretty awesome pretty good size too that's what 10 inches or so across there it's pretty wild so he did say that it didn't stand up very well and i believe that because uh my mount bullshit doesn't <laughs> he doesn't stand up very well either so there is wrist articulation on this but i won't get too wild with it because these are old the mouth one i feel pretty secure that's just a couple of oh sorry guys hold on oh. i know you're watching this like what the dude okay 
So I wish I would quit hitting the camera. So I, these things are gigantic. All right. So yeah, this has just got a couple of, as you can see up in there, attaching it. So yeah, I'll leave it open. Uh, these do not move because I think they plug in. Uh, this moves the shoulder should. Yeah, it does. But again, I'm not going to push it. And I think that's a pretty dynamic pose anyways. So if it was to stand up. Uh, that sucker is gigantic. Holy macaroni. That thing's huge. So it would it can't stand up because of its foot. But if you can see that, that thing is massive. So it's probably best that it's crouching. Crouching tiger, hidden dragon. And uh, so it does knee articulation, knee articulation there. Uh, yeah, so. Doo -doo. So yeah, he definitely would not be able to stand on his own. But he has... Let's see, what is he doing here? So he would crouch down like there and here. Yeah, if he was to do the pegs, that does fine. This does not. Huh. Maybe he has some warpage. I would assume from years of being stored away or something because that would have to be flat and these do not turn so yeah he does not stand very well even like that it's still a little little cack i don't know if it had the pegs in it there we go that's what it would do if it was to stand properly but it is not so this does move so I can bend that out of the way and maybe help balance him. No? I just have to put him down on his knees. So like that. So yeah. Okay. There you go. So that's how I'll display him. I'll probably go ahead and put the one peg in there maybe. Or he'll just stand like that. Which is cool. I don't know now. I want to bring this up. So he's like reaching out. Yeah, like that. And do I like this? Am I married to this? I don't know. Yeah, I kind of like that. And that's how I'll display them. So yeah, so there's a lot of detail. A lot of, like that would be the skin. There's the feet. As you can see, the pegs broke off. And that. And the uh, webbed hand. So detail in there, detail in the horns, detail in the mouth. Turn it where the light's hitting it a little better. So very detailed, detailed on the palms of that. His belly, see the ribs right in there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Veins everywhere. And there's his spine up the back there. More veins going through there. Yeah, this thing's awesome. He is gigantic. I love it. He's going to look great in the in the collection. So, yeah. So, I mean, honestly, like, that is not bad. Not bad at all. So, to give you an idea, if you have a uh, Marvel Legend, and you know what Marvel Legends are, there's, well, Deadpool, who doesn't want to stand up. It gives you an idea of scale. So that is a Marvel Legend standing, trying to stand. Marvel Legend being a little B and not standing. There we go. So that gives you a comparison to that. I don't have anybody. Here's a, oh, here's that Diamond Select Hulk. But that gives you an idea about how massive this thing is. So, I mean, that's kind of cool looking together. Uh, I'm like, hey, am I discovering something I might enjoy? So the whole fighting, the, that that's pretty awesome. Okay, so yeah, so there's the scale of the two. I'm putting him in front, so there's more. And that's, that's him crouched down. 
So if he was standing up, he would tower over the Hulk. So yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. So even, oh, what do we got here? We got Groot, the Build-A-Figure of Groot, who is, there's a Build-A-Figure of Groot. So as you can see, if you've got that in your collection, I mean, just massive. So yeah, pretty cool, guys. Uh, I would recommend picking these up if you get a chance to. But uh, yeah, so anyways, uh, sorry, I'm just in awe. I'm loving this right now. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, hit that like button. Uh, go over to 417 Manchild on Instagram. That's where you'll find all your thing you can do to comment, like, you can hear, you can subscribe and follow over there. I'm on 417 Manchild on TikTok. And uh, you can hear me every week on the Pop Goes the Culture podcast. And uh, yeah, so there you go. Uh, they're out there. People have these and they don't know what they're doing with them. And uh, so why not, kiss over there, uh, so why not uh, look around, put feelers out there, say, hey, this is what I'm looking for. That's what I did. I was in a different group altogether, a Funko Pop group, and um, just mentioned, hey, I'm selling some stuff, not really looking to trade unless you got some 80s and 90s action figures, and this guy hit me up, and not really interested in doing any kind of a trading thing, but did have these. So I was like, yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. So I went over to his house and I bought several and I'm going to go back and buy several more and hopefully several more. So, uh, adding some holes, take care of some holes in the collection. Sorry, there's a gnat flying around. I was like, Argh. but all right. So there's my review of that what year is this from i never looked guys hold on a second uh it says 1997 so from 1997 so yeah tell me what you think did you like it did you not like it would you buy it if you had a chance to pick this up for under 20 bucks would you buy it if so let me know and uh i know i would i'd buy another one so i would be happily buy another one of these for that kind of price but i cannot be particular i have this one thumbs up so all right uh have a good one we'll talk to you later and later oh my god he's going down